What's up kids, happy Friday. It is uh, beautiful here in Memphis, out at the coffee shop enjoying some great weather. So David Nathan asked a fantastic question um, and got a ton of comments on this one just a few hours ago, I think this time yesterday. What does it take to make a million dollar custom service agency? That's a great question. A lot of folks in this community have custom service agencies and, and we're in all different places from a financial standpoint, particularly after a pandemic like this. But if you're, if you're building something and it's time to start building that custom service agency, by the way, as we go through this process, please ask questions. I'm going to dive in deep to how this actually happens and how it actually works and kind of bust through a few myths, hopefully, and give you enough tactical space. What's up, Sam? Good morning. Good to see you, man. I'm going to give you enough tactical space and, and, and things you can use to actually start accomplishing what you want to do here. So ultimately, first up, to make a million dollar agency, obviously, there's lots of fun comments down there about, well, you just got to make $83,000 a month. Duh. Okay. Let's first define million dollars. And is that top line revenue, meaning what you're billing your clients and customers, how much is coming into your agency, or is that a, a number that's really what you take home, your profit, what comes out of the machine. Now, I'm a huge fan of looking at agencies in, in a, what comes out, what's profit, what is actually coming home to you, pre-tax, blah, 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 but after your business expenses, that's where I would target the million dollar number at, okay? So go after that being the million dollars. You wanna bring home pay yourself a million dollars and let the rest become, you know, if it's a million and a half dollar or two million dollar agency or whatever at that point, what really matters is what you bring home. Happy Friday, the, oh my gosh, is it Friday the 13th, CN? Oh, what could possibly go wrong, right? <laughs> That's hilarious, I had no idea. So, okay, first up, for, our, for, the, for the million dollars bringing that in, right? So you wanna bring in a million dollars profit. Because if you have a million, I know so many people have million dollar agencies or plus, but they're not bringing home that much money because they've got like a 20% profit margin. So they're bringing home $200,000 a year. It's not that much money in the agency space. So the bottom line is you gotta bring in enough money where you can clear a million dollars. And obviously the higher your profit margin, I mean the lower you can keep your expenses and the higher you can keep your billable time, hours, projects, whatever for your service, the more you can actually bring home. So that comes down to how much work do you wanna do, right? So if you have to generate $10 million in revenue to bring home $1 million in income, that's an enormous amount of work, particularly in a custom done for you space, all right? Custom service agency is a lot of hands-on work. In our agency, uh, our done for you service, I'll be open with you guys on numbers. In our agency, we have a 76% profit margin. So if we, bill a million dollars, $760,000 of that is profit. If we bill 10 million, then you do numbers. It's, you know, what would it be? $7.6 million. You get the idea. 76% profit margin in our done for you service agency. Now, a lot of people in done for you service and, and custom service agencies keep margins in the 30 to 40% space. There's no reason you should be that low. That's a tactical error often on the agency leaders position for not finding that right proper niche and for not dialing that in and really understanding the value that you're bringing your client and learning how to sell to the value. So sell to the value and make sure that you are building something that's actually workable where you can bring in the business at a price point that allows you to be highly profitable, okay? North of 50% profit margins so that you at least have to make 200, I mean 2 million to bring in 1 million in profit or better off if you're way north of 50% profit margins like we are, you just have to do less work to generate the profit. That's just smart business. Now, when it comes to custom service agencies, that has to be dialed in so specifically from a niche standpoint. So David, you need to really own that niche, find out where, and it, sometimes it takes multiple years or iterations of the business model or the, the, the market niche to really figure out who that is. But you need to keep going deeper and deeper into a market segment and finding that sliver of the population in that segment who was willing to pay for two things. One, the, the experience of working with you, all right? Who are you and what experience do you bring to them so that they can understand that working with you is worth the extra money. And two, a perfect market niche is one that wants zero hassles in their life. They're willing to pay a premium to have the hassles taken out of the process. As we all know, working within the digital agency space, working with marketers like us is often a hassle, right? 
people have a hard time communicating well, they have a hard time with deadlines, and they have a hard time actually doing the stuff that gets the result, and they wanna constantly pass the buck and, and not stand up for their job and own the whole process. So what we've done in our agency for our high ticket offer is we have taken all that hassle out for our clients. We manage, we don't do most of the work for our clients. We outsource a lot of it, but we manage, we babysit a lot of agencies. So we manage the process so our client doesn't experience the hassle. Everything is done on time because we manage that for the client. Everything's done thoroughly, exactly on point, and we get results. Even if we're not the ones doing the work, we manage that process. Now our clients pay us a premium for that service. So we found, and you could do the same thing, David, anybody else who's figuring this out, we found a way to just keep dialing into that market and understanding who is it that wants that premium experience working with a hands-on company like we have, a very white glove concierge service type organization. If you do that, David, you will find yourself working into a higher and higher place where you're working with higher level clientele and you can charge a lot more. In the, in the niches and the markets that we work with, we are five times more expensive than our nearest competitor. We're very expensive, but our clients don't want to hassle. They will pay to make the problem disappear versus them having to manage everything from a marketing, communication, branding, operations type, type standpoint that we manage for our clients. So David, I'm gonna just keep coming back to this question. How do you get that million dollar agency? Again, defining a million dollars as the take home, the profit, the real money you get to keep. So first up, make sure your profit margins are as high as possible and that you're dialing those expenses down as far as you can. Now, I'm not talking being cheap with your staff or things like that. I'm just saying get into a niche where you can charge a lot more for the same service, all right? Second thing there after that is you really wanna decide, are you gonna do a lot of things? Meaning lots of, some of the people in the comments down below, which is a great point, you can do a whole lot of $5 services or you can do a very few half million dollar services, right? We take on 10 clients a year in our agency, just 10. And they're very high ticket. So our, our average client sale is $126,000 on average. That's our average sale in our done for you agency for the surgeons that we work for. We take on 10 a year, 10 new ones a year, plus the, the ongoing lots of retainers for, for past clients, but 10 new ones a year. So we're not a high volume shop, but we're very, very custom, very hands-on, very concierge, very high cost, high profit, but high experience and high outcome for our clients. I would lean that way. If you're really after building a custom service type agency, you, you mentioned that in your comment, then I would stay very focused, pick a very, very specific niche that can afford that and that wants and values that, and then really dive in and just do whatever it takes to deliver that extreme value. Picture yourself being, we, do, we talk about this a lot in our agency, my staff and I, Picture yourself like being the manager or an owner of a five-star hotel boutique experience. So a very small hotel with like 20 to 50 rooms where it's a very boutique experience and you want everything done right. Um, the John Wick movies is a great example of this. The, the hotel that John Wick goes and visits that's in each of the John Wick three movies, if you're familiar with those movies. Um, it's a gangster movie, I get it, but they have the safe house hotel in that movie. And it's really cool to see that process. That's the kind of hotel that I envision when I think the agency we're running, I want that kind of service. I want high level, everything's taken care of for you. And as the owner, I make sure that everything's run just exactly right. And we do whatever it takes to make sure things are done right. Do that, David, and you'll see a, a really cool clientele gathering around you. Ask for referrals and go through that process. All right, whatever service you offer, if it's web design, communication, copy, PR, wh whatever it is, if it's very high touch and very concierge oriented, you will find yourself crushing that market. You'll find yourself being able to price way higher than everybody else around you. Because quite frankly, guys and girls, very few people in the digital marketing, digital agency, coaching, consulting space, the done for you services, very few people do what they say they're gonna do, all right? And unfortunately, all of us as creatives, as a, as a people group, creatives are often not great at being on time and communicating clearly and being structured in the way we think and the way we act. We're brilliant at communicating to cultures and getting messages across and creating amazing content, but we're really bad at being on time and getting the stuff done that a business owner wants to rely on. 
If you can just master that, you'll be light years ahead of most of your competition. So first up, absolutely go into that type scenario. Get after that step first. Go after it and do what you gotta do to be that kind of expert, be that kind of boss, and crush that kind of opportunity. So David, hope that helps. I'm not telling you exactly what service to get into because that's up to you. I'm not telling you what niche to go into because that's up to you. But in every market segment that I've ever found, dozens and dozens and dozens that we've worked in or coached in, I, I haven't found one yet that doesn't have a sliver of the population in that space that's willing to pay a very high end premium to really be able to go after and get your specific specialized service. So that's where it starts. Go after the profit margin, make the million dollar number your profit, not your top line income so that you always are staying focused on not how much money's coming into your Stripe account, but how much money's actually coming out of the business checking account. That's what matters. And then get after a market that you can find that sliver of the population who's willing to pay a premium for expert work, everybody taking care of it for them, and then become an expert and crush one very specific thing for a very specific people group. That is, that is the way you build it. Hope that helps. Any other questions, happy to help. You guys are always awesome. Get out there and have a fantastic Friday, everybody. We'll talk to you all soon. Hope all are well. See you guys. Bye.